So we found this puppy on the side of the road. We have no idea what happened. Uh, he's just covered in spray paint. It's still wet. You can't leave him like this. No. There's no way. Oh. And he was really calm, really docile. His tail was wagging. He was just happy to be shown affection. Oh I think we'd take him to our hotel and give him a bath. So. Yeah. I don't know. Now there's a family here. I don't think we can just take him. We saw a mother, dog, and three other puppies that looked a lot like him come by. She just sniffed him real quick and went up the hill. Um, it's real steep, and this little guy couldn't go more than three steps. Like, he's bleeding, he's hurt. We waited another hour, and that was when we kind of realized maybe that she was putting the health of her other pups first. We're gonna take this puppy in for the day. We grabbed my travel towel from the car. Get you so man cleaned up. <laughs> So, this is Blue's first bath. Oh yeah, dude, look at that. Somebody just like hit him with ink. Just wants to lay down, soak in the warm water. Alright, well he's been bandaged and napping for a little while now. We're gonna have to bed soon, so... He slept a couple hours and then by 2 a.m. he woke up screaming in agony. Blue's not doing too well. He's panting. He's breathing really heavy. His temperature is really high. And so we're going to take him to a 24-hour vet. The vet thinks that Blue fell off one of the hills. Our assumption is that the Blue may have been antiseptic, like a shepherd or something. Yeah. Just sprayed it really big and far away to keep his distance. And they said 100% without a doubt, if we hadn't had picked him up, he would have passed away that night. They took him in for 10 days and gave him his shots, took care of him, and made sure that he was healing properly. We just made it back to Cappadocia and we are picking up Blue! Hello, Blue, say good morning! During this time, he's essentially transitioning from being a street dog to being a domestic animal, right? Tell the hotel! <laughs> Slowly but surely, he started kind of showing personality and coming to life. <laughs> He started getting more playful and... We're slowly falling in love with this dog in the meantime, <laughs> right. right? Eventually, he gave you his first kisses. Are you hungry? We loved him so much and we wish we could have kept him, but we're full-time travelers. The type of breed he is... They can get up to like 170, 200 pounds. He deserves a routine. He deserves stability. And so I took to Instagram and we did a couple video calls. We decided Austin and Tori are a perfect home. And, and they have a one-year-old golden <laughs> retriever. Is today your last full day in Turkey? We are currently on our way out the door to take Blue to his new forever home. He's happy, he's healthy, he survived the flight. It was a heartbreaking day yeah. taking him over there. Oh. But it was great to finally get to meet them and spent like seven hours just hanging out with them. Bogey was really, really excited. That's when we knew, like, all right, like, this is a really great spot for him. Oh, he man. is spoiled rotten. So spoiled. So happy. They've provided him the life that we could have only hoped someone could have given him. It definitely felt like destiny that our paths were going to cross.